Hello, I know it's a little late, but I decided that I did want to make a video talking about Demon Slayer um, because the season ended a while ago and I didn't actually make a review of it. Uh, and I thought, well, let's do that now. Uh, it's maybe a bit late. Uh, most of you have already seen it probably, but I just I thought I still wanted to give my opinions on it. And, uh, a short review as I usually do on Demon Slayer. Now I am I am very stuffy. My nose is very stuffy. A bit. Uh, it's it's hay fever I think. Uh, but I'm still gonna make this review for you uh, and then without further ado, let's just get into everything that I think of the new Demon Slayer season. I feel like when, when talking about Demon Slayer, there's always one thing that comes first because it stands out so much with. Uh, this show with Joe's for Blue Food Table. <coughs> Excuse me. And that is the animation. Does the animation live up to Demon Slayer standards? Absolutely. It's still a gorgeous anime. It's still really, really well animated. Like, insanely well at times. Um, that is just like. It is one of the best animated shows I have seen. Now, of course, I've not seen everything. I've heard Fate is really cool too. I haven't seen Fate yet. Um, but from what I've seen, this show is definitely one of the best animation, uh, especially in like recent years. It, it's insane how much like better it is than, than some other big shows. Um, and yeah, it's definitely the driving factor now. The criticism I've heard sometimes is that it's all that it really has. Like, it's nothing without its animation. And what do you think that there is some degree of. Like, like yeah, to some degree, maybe it's a bit carried by its animation. But I do think it's still an enjoyable story. Uh, does it do anything new? Maybe not, like it's not super unique when it comes to story style you know, doesn't stand out like insanely much, it's just your average uh, super motivated main character. But I don't think that is a negative, like everything it does, it does well, and even though it doesn't do anything new per se, I still think that is like a decent enough watch to just sit there and enjoy and look at the spectacle it's kind of like um uh, i want to look at it like a hollywood example i really like the godzilla movies for example is there a lot of plot going there maybe not it, i just enjoy watching flashy things and cool visuals and for sometimes i, I enjoy deeper stories as i as i have talked about in this show too i am a big attack on titan fan not every show that i enjoy is really plot heavy um, and sometimes I enjoy to watch something lighter like Demon Slayer and it doesn't mean this show doesn't have emotional moments or uh, just cool moments because it definitely does uh, I don't want to sit here and pretend that this is like the most well written uh, super well developed character uh, show that was a really weird sentence but yeah, you, you get what I mean, it's like, yes, it's simple, yes, it works to its advantage, yes, I still think that it is a really fun to watch show. I think to best sum up Demon Slayer is that it's just simple but effective, like, is it a bit simple on the story board? Wise? What am I saying? <laughs> is it a bit simple on the story side? Yes. This is the animation cool? Absolutely. Do I think it's worth your time? If you like shonen and you like action and you like flashy fights, then absolutely. So, um, I'm just gonna give it like a, a 9 because it's really enjoyable. Uh, my scores don't read anything, I just say a random number. But uh, if you enjoyed this review, uh, li leave a like and if you want to see more. Uh, you can always subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.